and welcome back to Noble Fates. Today it's time to talk about another important thing, which is crafting. Why we need crafting? Well, without crafting, we don't have anything. We don't have armors, we don't have clothes, we are naked, we don't have weapons, we can defend our kingdom. And raiders run over us and make us their slave. Well, we have a bunch of different craftings and different kind of armors. How you know what you can do? Under here we have learning tabs. Learning tab, let's click that. And you can see this huge crafting tree. There's three different sections. We have sewing, bow making and smithing. Under sewing we have hide, leather and cloth armors and clothing and then we have bow making obviously bows and arrows and then under smithing we have uh, weapons and proper armors and how you can know what you can make or what you should get you so you are able to make so example here we have steel grappling hook which is a red currently if you hover over, you can see ingredients and most important, you can see crafting level. And because it's red, you can't even learn it. Here we have steel axe, which is green, short fine bow, fine short bow, which is yellow, meaning that we have learned steel axe because it's green and under, under that tab, you can see also who is who has learned. And these yellow markers, they mean that we can learn them next and then we can make them. So all these green ones we can make right away and then yellow ones we can learn if we send someone who has big enough crafting level to learn that item. This way you can also, also uh, plan what you want to learn fir first so you can get something what you want example if we want steel grappling hooks we need to learn bronze grappling hook first and right now we are learning iron roads by Orr and harriet they have learned this much this much that item we have so much uh, so much learning and so much items what they can craft let's check our different workbenches what we have for crafting and that's by the way well it's it's like creating animations this tiny little dust dust cloud what's happening but first we have crafting table most basic thing and most probably first thing what you're going to build because here you can build your first clothings your your stone axes and then bows and then your first ar ar arrows very very simple needs needs a uh, craft uh, building tree so you can build crafting table then we have a tannery what you can use to ch turn hide as a letter remember that learn first hide recipes Especially if you don't have anyone who needs, who wants hide armors or, or clothing. Learn those hide recipes first. And then you can just add task and infinity. Every single hide what you have will be turned as, as leather. And then you have leather to make leather clothings for your people. But if you have someone who prefer hide, then leave a little bit hide in your stock. In your stock so you can actually make those armors when they break down tannery and crafting table they are most basic benches and they don't need to heat source then we have more advanced benches we have a foundry and forge these both need heat source an example heart is one heat source what we can use but remember, one heat source can activate only one work workstation. So we can't use foundry and forge same time with your heart. 
or with one heart. If you necessarily need both of them at the same time, just add another heart next to them and everything's fine. Under foundry, you can make bronze gears and weapons, and iron rods, and then under forge, you can make steel weapons and armors. Very simple, just need to learn and know where you can make those. If you're wondering how you can get better crafting for your person so you can you can craft more advanced stuff because our crafting or our skill system is completely random based on based on pluses and minuses what you can see on your work, work tab or job tab we have plus many plus we have minus or maybe we don't have any 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 after the number meaning that potential how often the person get level on that when level up it can be very frustrating to level up one character and one skill specifically but example with crafting you can just let your crafter to make new gears new weapons for your colony and that way your kingdom's wealth gets bigger and you can sell sell those items whenever you get travelers you get more money you get more money and that way you get more wealth and who knows you get extra level for your crafting because of course every single time when your person is crafting something it gains level so while you're doing things for your kingdom you get xp and bigger faster you get levels well if you see someone getting crafting level let's say that sod gets now level and it's crafting sod gets actually two crafting levels and i'm super excited heck yeah now i can craft something new but then in this learning tab nothing is available and then i'm trying to make make uh, some items and i can't make those what's happening well again because our skill system that person is maybe not assigned for crafting in this case sud was actually crafter but example if if uh Folks get level, he has level 3 anyway. But he's not, he's not a crafter, so folks can't learn any crafting items. An example, Poggy hate or dislikes crafting, so I'm not I'm not going to sign Poggy for crafting ever. Folks could be, but I have so many so many crafters already, so I don't need those. But remember, remember check who got this level. And is a person assigned for crafting. Same thing if we steal these jobs from crafting. Click close. And now so many items is locked. Because we don't have anyone who can do those. So keep that in your mind. If you lose one person... If you have only one person who is good at crafting, maybe keep that one person safe. Because if you lose that one person who is good with crafting, your all your items gets get locked. You can't craft those. Your kingdom, kingdom uh, research and technology gets stuck on Stone Age until someone gets more crafting skills and then eventually you can continue crafting good good stuff it can be very frustrating it can be very annoying so if you have very valuable person remember don't sacrifice that one person play safe then sorry my little tip for you but i think this was basics basics for our crafting if i forgot something drop below down in down in comments what i forgot 
if I forgot something. Hopefully it was helpful, hopefully it explained how crafting works in Noble Fates. If it did, remember hit like button. If you haven't subscribed channel and you can get first view from these awesome Noble Fates videos when they get live. Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.